Hello everybody, welcome to Excel Video 340. I'm Nate Moore. I missed posting a video last week because I was finishing up the final draft for my first book that's going to be published by MGMA. It'll be out this fall. If you're looking for a whole bunch of ways to see and analyze your practice management data, watch for it this fall. What I want to do today is play more with scenarios. And remember last time we did some scenario summaries. This time if you go to What If Analysis and Scenario Manager, I'm going to say, okay, I want to do a scenario pivot table report. And again, we've got to tell where the results cells of our analysis are. And Excel's got that right. Here's where the answer is. So I'm going to click OK, and Excel's going to create me a pivot table. And remember when we have the scenario summary over here, and we rename some cells here, and we rename some things here to make it work. When we come over here, you still got the renaming things. It doesn't have quite the pivot table functionality that you might hope. The drop down here is, you know, to do, if you have scenarios coming from multiple people, right now we only have Nate's scenarios, but I'm going to show you a way to add multiple scenarios here in a minute. And then you could filter out some of these scenarios or move out, you know, say, hey, I don't care about D17, but see, I, you know, I'd have to rename D17 to even know that, you know, what D17 is, and it's this plan here. It's kind of, it's, it's Dr. C, but it's kind of messy. So you could rename some things and make it work, but for me, whoops. For me, the scenarios pivot table isn't, I kind of like the summary better than the pivot table, at least for scenarios. The other thing I wanted to show you is I created some scenarios here, and then I said, you know what, I'm going to create some more scenarios over here. For the same docs, what I have here under what-if analysis, scenario manager, I have two more scenarios, 180,000, 160,000. And what you can do is if you have multiple people working on a scenario project and you have some assumptions and they have some assumptions and you want to merge all those assumptions in one big spreadsheet with all the different analysis and the, the different options, if you will, in one place, what you can do is you, I'm, I'm going to start from the basic one here that we started with scenario. Go to what if analysis scenario and merge. It says show me where you've got some more and I've got two more scenarios on this source sheet and when I click OK, there they are. So here's one here, and here's one here, and I could double click this, and now I see that scenario, double click that, I see that one. It'll be merged here. Uh, and then once it's merged, I can summarize it and get it on another scenario summary. That's what I wanted to show you today. Yeah, there's kind of a pivot table, but it needs kind of even more work than what the scenario summary needed. And the other thing that's helpful is if you've got multiple people working on a scenario, it's easy from the what-if analysis and scenario manager to merge them. That's what I wanted to tell you about scenarios. We've been to scenarios. We've done goal seek. We've done solver. Data tables next. We'll start that next time. Thanks for watching.